Hey guys, welcome back. I'm El Worthy. We are currently playing some Rise of Nations Conquering the World. And right now we are engaged against the British up in the cold, wintry north. But that's totally fine. Because we are going to start working on getting our second city, getting our economy bolstered. And you know what? We should probably just go for some mining. Because again, we can be very... Um, uh, defensive, because uh, we're going to start getting that massive technology uh, getting worked on right away. And we're going to take these civilians and just have them keep doing their thing. We don't even need to make a barracks. We don't need to rush anything. Because I think the... Are we on an island? Oh, we might uh, need to get some naval supplies. Which is totally okay. You know, we can do that. I would just be uh, a little surprised that you know, if we would need to go so far as to... as to actually go onto the seaboard. I think we will, though. So, let's go ahead and uh, plop down the city right here. It's a bit farther away, but that's alright, because we need to make a coastal city, because we need to be able to go into the water. Because not being able to go into the water would actually kind of suck. Now that we got the barracks built, we're going to make more people. We have our mine going, and we really got to build a university next. That's going to be our next step in uh, the conquering of the British. Apparently, when you're fighting in Greenland, there's water, so uh, we actually are also kind of a little more protected because we do have that freedom to uh, just kind of build casually, unless maybe this loops around and connects. Who knows? That'd be actually kind of cool. But more likely than not, we are going to have to uh, swim across and do sort of a, a land invasion. We don't really want to spend our money on military units yet. We have an army. Plus, we can actually be conservative in this one, in this particular mission. Yes, we are completely landlocked. Totally fine. Just means I'll maybe we'll get to go over more economic stuff and see how far we can get up in the ranks. And let's use that free citizen here to start making uh, a farm. I'm not going to make my dock yet because I just want to keep things kind of together. There's not even an army stationed here, so I don't even need to worry about, like, getting attacked, necessarily. Or at least I shouldn't... I don't expect to. And actually, before you make a farm, we're actually going to have you make a university right here. And we'll put our dock over here. Here, let's put our dock... Uh, it's a military thing. Let's put our dock back here. Wonderful, wonderful. And then we'll start working on more farms. Maybe we want to make another mine. We'll see. How's this mine doing? That mine's full, actually. Which is totally okay. So, let's make more farms. To just finish off the amount of farms that we have. And then we're actually... You know what we could do? We should make a market. Then that market will allow us to get some trade routes going. We now have a dock. Which is always useful. And let's actually go ahead and make a man of war. Or make a couple man of wars. So that way we can maybe be a bit more uh, diverse and spread out. And let's actually put a senate building down over here. Because we want to go for some uh, sort of an economic general this time. And apparently our wood amount is actually quite off, so let's uh, go ahead and make a woodcutter's camp over here. And let's take our boat out to see and just see if we can find the British. Because clearly, we're having some problems with that. And hey, you know, maybe we'll just like text straight into the, uh, into the industrial era. We only need four more, so, you know, why restrict ourselves, essentially, from being able to get better units and better technology. Granted, things may be a bit more expensive, but that's going to be uh, not a problem. Especially since we're going to plop this city down right here, kind of in between, and then our market will be able to get a caravan running to help us maintain our uh, economic power. Okay, so here is the other seaboard. Aha! So let's get right up there and start bombarding. Because 
why not? The British changed their government. Well, we're going the Republic route. And we actually get probably want to put down a temple in our city as well. And then I say we start making units over here infinitely. So now we know that we're going to be ready to go. And where's that third town going to be? It's going to be right there. I don't think they're even uh, really stopping or worrying too much about uh, coming over here to, to deal with us, so that's totally fine. Let's get that uh, farm up and right. We still don't have problems with wood. Oh, we should... We're unable to atta attack that. Oh, well. Let's have that guy get away. And we can actually find out you can heal your units if you put them inside a building. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then this guy should be out of range. Yep. So he should be able to keep bombarding it. is totally fine. So let's actually make a lumber mill right here. So hopefully uh, that'll help out our wood production, because apparently we're struggling a bit in the wood department. Which is not necessarily something we like to have happen. So let's go ahead and build more farms. And this sound should probably make more farms as well. That way, guys, so that way uh, when we uh, tech up, we'll be able to completely support everything that we have. One more library research. Let's go for science, and then let's save up our food so we can get into that next tech level. And in fact, we'll just use these civilians to keep making more food for us, so that way uh, everything should be going pretty smooth. Horses, uh, do we need to take advantage? We might want to take advantage of that. Why not? Uh, it's really tough to say. But our wood amount is still not doing that well. Okay, let's fill up that woodcutter camp. And we need more wood to even get that final food up. Okay, good. And we're gonna start working on the industrial age. And we're gonna, because we need another woodcutter camp, uh, we'll just put one like right there. Although this one would also be a perfectly acceptable spot. So why not get both? Why not do both? And just start cranking out civilians. Granted. Our food is dropping. So let's, we can actually purchase some food, so why not just purchase some food? And get on that camp. There we go. Hey, look at that. We're still bombarding. Wonderful. So now, we should be able... Hopefully to infinitely produce, because I don't really want to have to micromanage every single little production of things. We're going to go for those horses, because those will actually help out with our increase of our income of metal. And other things. Alright, so we're about to tech up. And we need level 4 military research, so let's grab it. Why not? We can definitely do that. When that military tech comes up, we will go ahead and make ourselves a dreadnought. Which will be very good. It makes it almost impossible for the British to stop us. Which I'm totally fine with. Come on, military tech. Come on, military tech. You can do it. I believe. And let's also upgrade our boat. Ah, oh, we need oil. Ah, yes. I can explain how oil works. Now that we're in the industrial age, we have the ability to go around and harvest some oil. We actually have three oil spots that we're going to need to be able to grab immediately. Possibly more, should we want to. Now, what's nice about oil is that when you want some oil, you, it'll just jump you straight to the nearest oil spot. Totally fine. And there we go. We got our industrial age uh, infantry. And we do actually have the other guys getting researched, which is great. 
And why don't why don't we go ahead and make some ta tanks? You know, I mean, because to be honest with you guys, uh, this episode is per personally the way I want to do it is we're just going to kind of build up, uh, make a cool giant civilization, and uh, is that tr being researched yet? No, we do not have the oil to do that, which is okay. That is totally fine. In fact, it means we may as well make uh, these things while they're cheap. I spammed them out, not on purpose. That was actually intentional, believe it or not. We can actually probably purchase some oil. Even though our commerce cap, again, gonna need some help here, but we need wood in order to fix the wood problem. But that's totally fine. How's our wood amounts coming? Ah, uh, we could use some more civilians. I highly doubt this ship is gonna lose to uh, musketmen. But that's just me. When that uh, oil that we need gets researched, we should be able to get that upgrade. Wonderful. Besieging them, and we will have the marines just getting made, which is wonderful as well. So, now that we got our tech getting increasingly more powerful, uh, these two boats over here should be able to finish off that little army. And then let's actually put all of these guys into the water. Now what's cool is that these guys will actually just straight up turn into boats. We don't need to build any transports or anything. Which is absolutely wonderful. There we go. Get a perfect mine up so all three boats are firing. Then once that tech finishes, uh, we should be doing pretty good to go. Got two more boats in the production line. Yeah, so what's cool is that they turn into like these cool World War like D-Day ships, which is just awesome. Personally, I, I think it's great because I mean, who wouldn't like it? Oh, let's uh, have the senator just kind of chill out over here. Get our civics level up. Bring more boats over. And we're starting to make those battleships. Now what should come with these new ships is increased range, so we can actually uh, maintain our naval support possibly deeper into... deeper into the um, uh, territory of our enemy. So we'll have these uh, units start marching across. They're doing some sort of wonder research, I think, so that's something we may want to stop. Hey, there's our battleships. And with that kind of support from our navy, as soon as those guys get in the water, we'll just do a full-on Invasion. Let's get these other boats over here. Are we able to hit that? I don't think so. That's okay. So I'm just going to order a full land invasion. I wonder if we have a longer ranged naval ship that we could possibly use. I mean, let's get a destroyer, sure. We do. There's submarines. You know, we could could use submarines. So with our extra destroyers, ready to help aid in the battle, just completely bombarding it. So that way, our ground force, though granted smaller than we'd like, it is a bit smaller. Uh, it can still definitely get onto the shore without being damaged along the way. And let's begin the invasion. Perfect. Because with our ships aiding our marines on the ground, we'll be able to get a foothold on the territory quite easily.
Now, let's get to work on that uh, tank factory, shall we? I think that's something that everyone would want to see. But unfortunately, guys, we are running out of time. So, I will see you guys in the next episode.